Hi everybody, this is Unpunished. I'm making this video as a little tutorial or more of an instructional video on something that's pretty important to me, which is cable management. And I don't mean cable management inside the PC, I'm talking about external cable management outside the PC. So cables and wires that you can see outside of your uh, PC system. So hopefully this will help you guys be more organized, help your system look cleaner. Um, because I like to make my system look really clean outside and inside. So if you guys have any comments or questions during this video, post them up on the wall. So here we go. Keep watching. So as you can see, this is my current cable situation, external cable situation. I have a lot of things plugged into the computer, different devices and peripherals. And the more things you just have plugged in, this eventually will become a problem. So I'm going to go and show you guys in a different angle. All of the cables are tangled. You can't tell which one goes where and it makes things harder in the future if you ever want to take things out, put them back. So I'm going to go out and purchase all the necessary tools and equipment and items I need to start this little project and so you'll see what I like my cables to look like alright so I'm back from your regular home hardware store and I purchased most of the items I think I need for this external cable management project I'm going to start from left to right and introduce them so these four are different kinds of velcro straps or velcro ties you might have to ask your home hardware store where they're located because I didn't find them where I thought they would be so this black roll is for the bulkier, heavier cables, like the power cable and the monitor cables. And you can cut these into different lengths. And this one is about it's 12 foot altogether, so it's pretty long. And I got the color-coded Velcro straps for differentiating between the cables, which one's power, which one's audio, which one's video, things like that. And I got two, so there's ten altogether, which should be more than enough. But I like to use the Velcro straps because this is mainly for external cable management. And it's not a permanent solution, like tie wraps. So you can unstrap them and restrap them because you'll most likely be moving your external devices more often than your internal. Which brings us to the tie wraps. I also will be using this for external, but not as much. I'll be using more of the velcro straps but this I'll use definitely more in the internal cable management but there is no reason why you can't use the velcro straps for the internal as well so I will be using these tie wraps sparingly and I got some electrical tape which I might be using in the ends but also very sparingly there might be also some other items I will be using but uh, I will mention them as we go along in this video. Alright everybody, I started uh, the first step and that is unplugging everything, disconnecting all the cables from where they're attached and actually first off, turn off your power on the power bar, unplug everything before you start um, fiddling around with the wires. You don't want to get in no accidents. So I've gone and started by unplugging everything and it'll also give you guys an opportunity to maybe think of a better way to route things and plug them back in so that's the first step unplug everything and turn off the power okay so what I've done next is expose the power bar so that I know which uh, power cords I'm going to be connecting to it and I've also separated all the cables that are going to be grouped together like for the monitor, for the PC, and for the modem, and uh, the speakers. So you're going to want to put them all together, gather them up, because then you're going to use the velcro straps and start tying them up together okay so now you can see what I've done with the big wires 
cables. Um, so I've bundled up the power cables for the monitor, as you can see, and they branch off to the three different monitors. And I've color coded it with red for power, and they're all going in on this one power bar. And I bundled up all the actual display connections to the monitors and color coded them blue so they're all bundled up and that's all going to be connected to the computer so as you can see how much more organized it is and how neat it is when you've um, color coded it and as well bundled it up with the velcro strap so my next step is to put this power bar back inside and see how it looks from there and then we'll go on to the next step Okay, so I've already done a bulk, if not most of the cable management, and color coded everything I could. Um, still looks a little messier than I would like it, but uh, once I push everything in, I'm gonna try to clean it up some more and give you guys a final look. So I've used as much Velcro strap as I could. And I've strapped the cables together that are going to be connected near the same place. Like the power cord I've attached to the display cables for the monitors. And I've I pushed in uh, the power bar. And I've also um, bundled up most of the audio cables for the speakers so once I start uh, pushing things in and cleaning it up a, a bit more I'm gonna give you guys a final look and hopefully it'll look a lot cleaner alrighty guys so I've completed the external cable management and turned out quite well I would say and I just want you guys to have a careful look at this and if you want you can just turn back to the beginning of this whole video and you can compare the cable management uh, now and what it was before so I'm gonna pan through all the areas I wanted to before and if you guys can let me know if I made any significant changes so uh, I mean it does still look a bit jumbled but if you look closely these wires are all color coded most of them are color coded and bunched up properly so you know which wires are attached to what and you can definitely clean this up even more if you'd like but again I wasn't going for a permanent uh, fix because I am going to be moving parts devices around quite often and mind you I do have a lot of things attached to my computer and just a lot of things with wires so try to do my best so you guys let me know what you guys think and if you guys have any comments or any suggestions or also if you want to let me know if this video has helped you guys at all or maybe motivated you to start your own external cable management so thank you guys for watching unpunished signing out